Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can stop wasting time when you are building your live sets so that you can spend more time preparing and feeling really comfortable when you are performing. So the first thing that's going to save you a ton of time is start from a template. And if you start from a template, that means most of the work that you do, you will only do once. So here's my template, and let's check out what I've got going on. So Basically what's happening here is I've got my sound separated out by categories, um, two pianos, two pads, leads, auxiliary, and sound effects. And I've got clips that switch my patches for me. So I've got my slow burn piano, my drama ballad, looks like some e-piano snuck in there. And then on the end of every chain, you'll notice I've got um, an audio effects rack so that I'm able to easily alter the sound. So for example, if I am playing a pad sound, perhaps I'm playing the fine tapestry sound, I can easily filter down, can add some verb if I want. Um, and then, of course, if I wanted to add a little bit of bounce. And that's already built into my template. So I have that ability every single time I open this up. And I don't have to program. It's just there. How wonderful is that? Um, and I've got similar stuff going on for all of these other ones. I've got, um, here's a lead sound, long ago and far away. where I've got a filter here, I've got the ability to add some distortion. And of course, a reverb. Um, so yeah, that's my template, and you should build a template as well. Um, now, one more thing to add is that um, your template should include mappings, right? So I have my volumes all mapped to my Novation Launch Control XL, um, and I've got my audio effects all mapped up here to my, my Novation Launch Control XL. So that means when I start building a set list, those things I already did once, and never again will I have to do them. Um, all right, the next thing that's going to save you a ton of time is program away from your computer. Um, so old-fashioned style, sit down, listen to your song, and decide what it is that you need. I actually use uh, I actually use this, um, and I'm sure that it's difficult for you to see from over there, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and I just listen through, and I'll write down, oh, um, for my song form intro, it's piano pad with a synth arp. And then when I go to the verse, it comes down to strings and piano. And I lay it out on here. And what this does is it doesn't tempt me to start fiddling with my sounds when I'm programming. So this helps us do one thing at a time. Um, and then when you sit down in Ableton, you're just able to drop your clips on the Ableton grid the same way that you did on here. So just a quick demo on that. Um, up here, I've got all of my sounds, right? Um, but for example, if for my intro, I wanted to have piano and pad, I could just choose my piano sound option, drag it down, and I can do the same for uh, whatever pad it is that I want. And then when I fire this scene, It's just there. And if I wanted my next section to be a different piano sound, and maybe I've got strings that come in as well, and a much larger sounding pad, then I could just fire the next one. And I'm there. And I can just move through my stuff really quickly um, just by dragging clips. So I don't have to think about any of it. I just lay them down. So all of my work was done away from the computer. And then when I'm programming, I'm just programming. And I am ready to program. 
Now, the last thing that's going to save you time is I want you to think about the parts of a tune or the parts of a song that are difficult. And I want you to focus on those things. Because I think oftentimes we start at the beginning of a song and we practice the intro and we get great at it, but the amount of times we actually make it to the end of our song is less than the amount of times we start on the song. So if there's a particular section that's difficult, I want you to focus just on that piece so that when you put the whole thing together, the difficult parts have already been smoothed out. All right, now if you are looking to get a head start on your template, I have already built one for you. Um, it looks like this, and it basically already has all of your clips laid out. So all you need to do is head into your pianos, and if you wanted a particular piano sound, you can just um, drag and drop it. And then any time that you fire that clip, you would have a piano sound on patch one. And you can turn it off easily, and the same goes for um, all of these other patches as well. Um, now, if you're looking for some new patches, I actually have 15 main stage recreation patches. So I went into main stage, took some of my favorite sounds, and rebuilt them in Ableton. So you can get them from the link that is on your screen as well, um, if you're interested in that. And if you're looking for a really in-depth way um, to switch from main stage to Ableton, you can check out this link right here, um, and that one is gonna take you to my complete Main Stage to Ableton transition course. It's gonna show you exactly how to move between Main Stage and Ableton, and don't forget to like and subscribe.